Hey guys, I am back at the school again for the third time. Really getting used to this uh, NASA GPS board. As you can see, I got it on my hex now. Um, this is one of my best crafts. I love it. I'm just looking for a obvious spot. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to plug in in this little box between that white scuff and this line. This is where I'm going to plug in. We'll test the fail safe on the on the hex. It's not completely dialed in. I did a gyro adjustment just now. I uh, haven't flown it since the adjustment, but um, it was nothing huge, so it shouldn't be an issue. But the hex is my FPV setup. Okay, initializing. Four green blinks should have its home location set, and already. It's already got all of its GPS locked. Okay. Now, this is a Talon 2 hex. I know it says V1 on Hobby King, but it's a V2. It's got the same motor mounts and design as a V2 uh, Talon. But it's a Talon hex. Uh, no modifications to the frame. I got 18 amp plush ESCs. I got 2826A 1200 kV NTMs running 8x4s and um, the uh, AR8000 receiver with the NASA GPS board. So, let's see, this looks pretty well positioned. I'm running a 4000 milliamp 3 cell. Alright. Up we go. It always freaks me out not having total control. When I see it lean forward like that, my natural instinct is to pull back on the stick hard. Um, but it actually grabs itself, so you don't really need to. But, you know, most other boards, it would just progress until you dug a prop and flipped over. So I'm in GPS hold right now. Throttle was recalibrated to exactly 50% because it, it before what I was noticing is I was gaining and losing altitude just a little bit until I was a touch over 50%. So now I've recalibrated it. You can see my girlfriend over there. Wave to the people. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do have a very patient and loving girlfriend. She thinks all this stuff's cool though. Man, it is a freaking hot day. Wow, I can't even. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that's nice. But um, it's a really hot day, as you can see. Beautiful out here. But uh, so GPS hold better than the quad. This thing has a lot more ability to uh, do small corrections quickly. And um, yeah, I really like hexes. Hexes fly significantly better than quads. All the really good quad footage you see people flying FPV and it makes you think, made me think for a long time that quads are, are really good for FPV because they're simple, they're easy to set up. The reality is you have to have a full stabilized uh, gimbal and you need to generally um, uh, take your footage and digitally stabilize it um, post in post. So realistically the hex has a lot less jerky controls. It tends to be smoother, more in control in general. And um, I don't know, there's just something about them that I like. And this is an exceptionally good setup for not a ridiculous amount of price. I mean, I would put this up against a lot of the highest end quads running hacker motors and castle ESCs. Uh, I know the plushes work better than most of the high end ESCs. And all the people claiming high refresh rates, even the DJIs, they're not that high a refresh rate and they're probably exactly the same as the as the plush. I do know for a fact that Hobby King is going to be coming out with some high refresh rate ESCs very soon um, from sort of a newcomer into the ESC market so uh, who knows maybe I'll be able to get some of those for testing. But look at this I still haven't touched the controls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out and test the fail safe again. Let's see what was our starting point here. I already lost it. There it is. Okay right there. So, I mean, that is amazing. That's just beyond. Yeah, that's perfect. So this is going to be my AP platform. And uh, it should go over well. I need to get a, a gimbal on it. 
need to get a gimbal on it. I'm testing battery life right now. Um, I'll go back in this footage and check it out. I'm going to do a full down, a full down landing though with the auto. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works on this system. I'm oh, getting a little motion right there. Okay, here we go. Just turn my transmitter off. Please don't fall out of the sky. I haven't tested it on the hex yet. It's gonna go up right now. So just in case, I'm gonna flip my switch to manual and be at 50%, actually just over 50% throttle in case I need to snag it. It's going up. Swirling around. I'm gonna try to back up here. Wow, that is a way too much motion. Uh-oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna regain. Taking control back. There we go, I got control back. So I'm in manual mode right now. That just made me a little uncomfortable. And um, it really surprises me because a lot of the time you can get Okay, there we go, there's GPS. You can get the toilet bowl effect to start just in GPS hold. And see, now it looks like it might try to start it, but it sat there for over a minute. Now, I guess in the end, if you do lose it and it doesn't come down perfectly, you still get it back. Um, I don't know, that's, that's not good. I wanna test that again. I have no idea what the battery is like right now. Bursting it. Okay, I'm not getting the red light, so I'm gonna go back and try it again. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Okay, I just flipped off my transmitter. Off. It could have just been me not having enough faith in the system. Altitude. It's gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. What I'm looking for is a toilet bowl effect. Oh God, why do you change your heading? That freaks me out. <laughs> I'm a lot more nervous with this than the little quad. The little quad would not be the end of my, <laughs> my day if it got destroyed. This would really bum me out. Okay, I'm going to manual mode. Up the throttle to compensate a touch. And, uh, just in case, because the manual mode's weird. The throttle response on the manual mode's totally different than it is on altitude and GPS. So, no matter what, if I do regain control, I'm gonna have to do it nose in. And I'm okay at orientation, but only if I put myself there. Okay, it looks like I just didn't have faith, because this is coming down, no toilet bowl effect. If you get that spiral, you know you have an issue with your compass and I did originally, but I, I sort of reset it, set it up, and look at this. I mean, that is... <laughs> you guys remember that line, right? I started it right there. All right, well, before I... Before I screw up my battery mode here... Okay, there we go. I'll have to take uh, like 20 seconds off my battery calculation. But um, I have it set so it'll auto land. It's kind of funny because that auto landing you guys just saw is nice. It's smooth. The auto landing when the battery cutoff hits is a little less smooth. <laughs> it kind of drops quickly. Okay, so here we are. Hands off. GPS mode again. Head height. Wishy washy. Oh, come on. Lock in. Lock in. What are you doing? I'm still hands off, by the way. I'm letting it do its thing until it 
catches a skid, then I'm not gonna. That is uncool. All right, I obviously need to compensate. I actually know, let's see. What needs to happen is I need to Unfortunately, these aren't that secure, they kind of rotate, but that little tiny rotation should actually stabilize it. Let's see if that did anything. You can see it leaning into a little bit of a wind. Here we go. See that? Aside from a little loss in altitude, which it's trying to regain right now, none of that toilet bowl effect. Oh, it didn't even touch the throttle and it went up. There we go. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of trippy. It's it has to be angled just right. Come here. It's going to start another one here, isn't it? It's less severe, and it might fix itself, but once it gets started, it kind of just keeps going. So, got to dial it in a little bit more. Oh, wait, there we go. I got red blinkies. i stop it myself here. So, no, I'm not too worried about that, that toilet bowl effect, to be honest. All I need to do, do is dial in the compass direction, possibly retake. There it goes. There's the auto land. Okay, so that's that. That's a 4,000 milliamp battery. Of course, it's not carrying any FPV gear, so it drains a whole hell of a lot faster when you've got transmitter, GoPro, and or something else. Um, I'm going to put a gimbal on this, hopefully, in the next couple weeks. I uh, might be doing some filming for a documentary, so that'll be kind of cool. But um, I want to put my um, HX9V to Sony camera. And I don't even think they make it anymore, but it's ridiculously smooth. And um, I actually like the video just as much as my 60D, which is kind of ridiculous because it's a small point and shoot. But, um, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll do sort of an update video as to what's going on. I'm uh, trying to track my subscribers, and I'm gaining a ton of subscribers, which is great, but I'm losing quite a few subscribers, too, so um, be vocal. If, if you don't like the dailies, let me know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much just, just here to entertain people and, and play with RC all day, so it's, uh, it's not, a bad, not a bad life for me, but I want to make sure you guys are, are getting the content you want, so if you want more of this stuff, tell me you want more. Um, if you want, you know, I know a lot of people want the reviews and there's a lot more coming. I'm expecting a, uh, what am I getting? I'm getting a Bixler 2 pretty soon here. I'm getting the orange plane stabilizer. That should be here very soon as well. And I'm also getting the new, uh, yeah, I can't quite remember what, what they named it. It's basically the replacement of the Kinetic 800, which was one of my favorite small planes. But, um... God, what was that thing called? Oh, no, that's going to bug me. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, there's a bunch of reviews coming out. It's just those are very time-consuming. The dailies are something I can do to sort of pad the rest of the channel. But, um, yeah, you should be uh, should be seeing more reviews come out. And uh, probably less car reviews. That's not doing all that well. And that was a real pain in the ass, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go grab some groceries and uh, enjoy a little bit of relaxation in the heat. So, thanks for watching guys, and uh, have a great day. Bye.